Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Almost done with all the hazelnut coffee. I have to go to Mark's sometime coming up and see if they have any more of the hazelnut decaf. I do have some chock full of nuts coffee in the uh, stash, which also has a nutty flavor. So we'll see if I can find the Folgers. Well, today it's going to be 85 and sunny, so it's going to get warm today. have to go out in the garden and water. And I saw on X, formerly Twitter, that Jimmy Buffett passed away. Oh no, I love Jimmy Buffett. I think he was 76. <clears throat> I hope that's fake news, but it's probably not. So I hope he's enjoying the Margaritaville up in the sky, if it's true. <clears throat> so I have things I got to get done today. I have all those peppers and eggplant and squash and a cabbage, all that I picked from the garden yesterday. And I have to process that in some way today either clean it up and put it in the fridge or chop it up and freeze it because I can't eat all those peppers at once and it'll be nice to have those frozen for any cooking that needs to happen during the uh, winter always something to do but my neck issue is sort of acting up again I haven't taken the naproxen in a few days because it was feeling better, but um, I don't know. I hope that's not going to be a chronic thing. So we'll see. I have a, a doctor's appointment coming up in September sometime, so I'll address it with my doctor at that point. And I'll start taking the naproxen again for now because I can't just sit there and do nothing. That would drive me crazy. So, all right, let's give the coffee a taste. Cheers, my friends. It's good and hot. So, anyway, those are my big plans for the day, and hopefully they'll pan out. And um I'm going to enjoy my coffee now. And I will meet you at the budget book in a little bit. All right, well, here we are in September already. Holy moly. Who'd have thought it? Well, anyway, yesterday I didn't spend any money. So I'm off to a good start at the beginning of the month. Um, my chair came today and the table came today, but I still have to set everything up. Um, so I think the chair will be nice. Of course, it comes in two pieces and it was a big, huge box. So fortunately, my ex-husband was here and he helped my grandson bring the chair in. Otherwise, I don't know how I would have wrestled that in because the bottom of those chairs is pretty heavy. So I'm glad that's here, but now I have the problem of two recliners in there again. Um, and I was glad to only have one in there because it kind of closes off the room. So I have to work on that. But today I did a little bit of light decluttering. I decluttered some papers. I keep a little um, bin by the kitchen table. It's just a dollar store bin. And sometimes I tend to throw papers in there that I don't know what to do with. Now, junk mail goes right in the recycle. I don't even bring it in the house. But, um, you know, you get things in, in the mail that you just need to follow up on. And so I, I put those in that little basket. <clears throat> so I did some of that and decluttered my kitchen table and then... Um, I decluttered some other items, and I have to go ahead and order the um, 
donation people again. They'll probably be coming, I would be thinking, probably either the 5th or the 12th, because they always come on a Tuesday, which works out pretty well, because if I'm busy on the weekend, then I still have Monday to get a few things together. And I still want to pull out some things out of my closet. I like to give them clothes almost every time that they come. So, um, because I still have too many. But it's going to be too hot to get up in the attic and get those clothes down because it's going to be going up to the upper 80s and 90 this week. Well, this coming week, so uh, I'm not looking forward to that, but... Um, it'll cool off again, and then I'll be able to finish decluttering the clothes, and I have quilts up there, and all kinds of different things. So, all right, that is the budget book for today. I'm going to make a quick dinner, because I'm trying to declutter my fridge and freezer again. <laughs> After 365 days, I'm still at it. But um, I like to use up all my leftovers so that uh, they don't get wasted, and I save a ton of money on that, on food. All right, so I will be back. All right, today's dinner is going to consist of some leftovers that I want to put together. This is the zucchini parmesan I made the other day. It turned out really good some of my homemade homegrown tomato sauce and I have these um, brioche buns that I want to use up. I also have in the air fryer some uh, waffle fries that I've had frozen that I want to use up. So that's going to be my dinner tonight and then yesterday my daughter gave me a big bag of um, greens so I'll probably have a salad on the side. So I'll be back in a little bit and show you my dinner. Just using up what I have, going back to that, because in September now, I need to save quite a bit of money for the upcoming expenses that I have. My new window should be coming in. I bought the recliner chair, which did come today. The table came today too, but I have to put that all together yet. So September, I really have to tighten the belt. So All right, well, here's tonight's dinner. So if you have leftover um, eggplant parmesan, or if you make like a zucchini parmesan, whatever you have, instead of a meatball sandwich, make yourself a sandwich out of the leftovers and with some fries and a nice green salad with tomatoes. Very quick and easy dinner, and I'm trying to use up the food I have in the refrigerator before I go shopping again. Last time I went shopping was at the beginning of uh, August. So it's getting to be almost time, but there's a lot of things in there that I still want to use up. And one thing I love to do is keep frozen french fries in the freezer. That way if I don't have fresh potatoes then I can always use the frozen ones. So to me it's worth it. It might cost a little bit more, but um, I actually like frozen french fries. So okay, there's tonight's very frugal dinner. The zucchini is from the garden. Tomatoes are from the garden. The salad is from my daughter. And the potatoes were of course from the store. All right, so trying to keep the cost of food down in these crazy times, that's about the biggest place where you can save. So we have to cook smart. All right, I'll be back. Well, I didn't get a ton done today, but I did make a little bit of progress on my uh, decluttering and downsizing project. Um, I went out into the garden today and uh, I sort of assessed the the garden and um, what I want to do is make a um, a video like a documentation of what I want to do in the garden next year that's not right either <laughs> there we go 
Um, that way, when I try and make my garden plan for next year, I'll know exactly how much to plant. I really kind of overplanted this year because with the winter sowing, I didn't quite know how many seeds would put in there. I didn't know how that would uh, all germinate. So um, this coming up year, I'll have a better idea. And like I said, the first thing that I want to do is put in a watering system because right around this time of the year, when we don't get so much rain usually, uh, the watering really gets to be an issue for me. I just get really tired of it. <laughs> so, but anyway, I, I'm not ready to give up my garden yet, you know. Um, I have 10 city picker boxes, and I mean, they're not huge. My garden is not huge. I mean, I, I know it looks like a lot, but... Um, so I have 10 city picker boxes. Those I, I will plant in again. They did very well this year. Then I have two other um, raised beds. They're not even raised beds. Raised garden containers that I like a lot. And they're all um, self-watering containers so that if you fill the, um, the, the reservoir, you can go a day or two without watering, which is really nice, but it needs a little bit more than that. So, but I think next year I want to get rid of more pots. This year I got rid of a lot of the, the grow bags. Well, I still have them. I, I stuffed them away, but next year I want to get rid of the grow bags because like I said it's not my goal I don't like canning so if I like to can I would grow more stuff but it's really kind of my goal to freeze some maybe peppers and uh, tomatoes or dehydrate them but I don't want a lot of canning to do so um, I, I basically want enough greens and tomatoes and peppers and like green onions to get me through the summer and, and the fall. And actually the spring too, yeah, but you don't have too much of a harvest in the spring, but you can still get a fall garden in. But I'm not doing that this year. I did so much work on that garden in the spring that... Um, I kind of uh, burned myself out a little bit with that, so I don't want to do that next year. But I never did get around to putting up my little greenhouse. I'll probably do that in the early spring so that I can get ahead on some of the uh, things that I want to plant. But I'm definitely going to use the winter sowing um, Ziploc bags again next year, next spring. So, all right, it, it uh, wasn't a real exciting day today. Tomorrow I'm supposed to go uh, to my ex-husband's house. He and his wife are hosting a little bit of a barbecue for uh, Labor Day. So I'll, I always take my plant-based meats with me whenever I go anywhere. So... Uh, That'll be nice. I'll, I'll see my kids. I don't know if all my kids are going, but it'll be nice to, to get together and just get out of the house for a little bit because I'm at a point where I really have to kind of force myself to get out the door. <laughs> I mean, I've always been a homebody. You know, this has nothing to do with COVID lockdown or anything like that. I was a homebody before that. I mean, to me, that, that was... No big deal at all, because um, I don't like going to the stores. When I got together with family, it was very casual anyway, so it, it really didn't affect me that much. It affected uh, my grandkids because, of course, of all the school stuff that was going on. Um, but that was too bad you know, for the kids, especially all the things that have come out about it now. 
I don't know. So anyway, I'm not going to go off on that rant. But anyway, that was my day, and uh, maybe tomorrow I'll work on putting together my little side table a little bit. It looks like it came in a in a decent box. It wasn't real banged up, and like I said, uh, I only paid thirty nine dollars for it, and. Um, so I did leave a link to that in one of the comments from yesterday, if, if anybody's interested in, you know, getting one for themselves. But, so within the next day or two, I'll, um, I'll show you what I put together. So, all right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Thanks for watching.